uh, if you have a grammar, uh, say for example, uh, T implies T plus T. T implies, uh, sorry, E implies T. T implies T star F. F implies, uh, sorry, uh, instead of F, the correct is uh, uh, T implies, uh, T implies F. Uh, F implies digit, and uh, we know that digit is like uh, uh, digit is uh, any number. Like uh, we can take digit is like say uh, two oblique three oblique four, right? Okay, it is like this. If this is the grammar, then with respect to this particular grammar, if you are being provided a uh, semantic rule semantic rule as um, uh, semantic rule as uh, say uh, e implies e plus t semantic rule for us is say print uh, Print, uh, you can see in Python we write directly print. Uh, print is say plus. Okay. Then uh, E implies T. The semantic rule is do nothing. Uh, T implies T star F. So uh, the semantic rule for us is say print. Star T implying F if it is do nothing T M F implies digit okay and the time uh, if the T is implying digit the semantic rule is print in bracket digit dot Licks well, okay. So this is the case. Okay, so uh, you have got uh, you have got uh, grammar and the corresponding semantic. Okay, now what is going to happen? Uh, we know that we are going uh, whenever we the semantic rules are providing additional information, and this additional information helps in deciding order of evaluation how it is being evaluated. So this is going for simplification of evaluation. Then this is always uh, going uh, uh, top down and left to right, right? So like whenever we prepare a, a annotated parsley, annotated parsley is being developed with respect to all variables, right? So there is a clear, uh, uh, clear distinction between annotated parsley and a syntax tree. Okay, so we'll try to prepare an annotated parse tree, but before that, we'll go with the uh, approach. An approach is, say, for example, top down. How we are going with top down, and uh, how we are spanning. Spanning is left to right. Right, an approach is top down. Okay, so in if we go ahead with the top down approach, we we can easily see that how how this particular string is being generated. Now, what is being what is being the expression which we can formulate like here? If it is say uh, five plus three multiplied by, or if this is an expression, how we can land up up to this expression? Let us try to understand this in a top down way. Then we can think of like uh, putting an annotated parse tree for this uh, with additional uh, semantic rule information, and we'll see like how it is being converted. Okay, so uh, let us try to go for it. So if it is say five plus three, we need to uh, we need to generate a uh, five plus three in this particular way. We have to go for we have to go for say we have to go for e. Uh, e is giving me. E plus T, okay. E is giving me E plus T, right? By first substitution rule, we are going for E is equals to E plus T. Now E is giving me E is T, so it is it is becoming T plus 
D. D is F. F is digit value, right? Okay. Yeah. Uh, F is digit dot lex value. Plus, you now you have got T, right? So this is being substituted. Now you have got T. Now T is nothing but F. So it is like it is like digit dot lex valve plus f uh, it is t is nothing but what t is take a t's production it is t is t star f now t is t star f so it is uh, digit dot lex valve plus t is f now it is f dot star f now digit dot lex valve plus this what is f f is again being uh, substituted as uh, digit dot lex valve dot star f now this is at the last what is going to happen digit dot lex valve plus digit dot lex valve star digit dot lex valve okay and now this lex value is up if i say this is 5 plus this digit lex value is say 3 multiplied by this digit lex value is 4 so this is how it gets generated so this is my uh, top down approach means what from leftmost uh, non terminal we have gone and we have gone for substitution so this becomes e plus t this becomes uh, f plus t so f is digit value and likewise so in based on this right if we go on doing it then you will find that you have got e right so e has got this much right e has got e plus t okay e has got e plus t now the time e has got e plus t we have got a uh, lex rule all we have got a semantic rule also and that semantic rule we will say that okay if it is uh, if it is uh, uh, e plus t in that case the semantic rule says what print plus okay print plus is the semantic rule okay so now let's let's we have added that semantic rule also here okay so when it is e plus t means when this this is going to happen e plus t is going to happen and you are referring to this e the semantic rule is e plus t okay now what about e e is nothing but e is nothing but t now if it is e is being t then what we are going to go ahead is print nothing so uh, it is like uh, our case in this in this case we have to go for um, uh, we have to go for print nothing. So this is like uh, semantic rule is print nothing, right? So this is like this, do nothing, print nothing. Okay, so now you have got this. Next is like, uh, if you go ahead with this, you'll find that, okay, uh, to F T is when it, T is being substituted as F. Again, here, what you now are going for? Print nothing okay then when you go with this you are going for digit dot lex file okay so and digit dot lex file what is our uh, semantic rule here semantic rule is the semantic rule for us is like when it is like this we have to go for print digit dot lex value okay so this is clear Okay, now let us try to understand uh, what about T, right? So now, like, uh, I hope you got an idea, like how we have gone, how we have started with E to this, okay? So now, if you look at T, then uh, T has uh, T has again a representation, uh, which is something like uh, T, then this is star, and this is F. Okay, now, if, this is just a t right t is like t is t star f right here here we are going for uh, e is t right this is what we are going to do then t is t is giving me f t 
T is giving me F, right? So I am going to write it here. Print nothing. Okay, F is uh, digit dot lex file. Okay, and digit dot lex file and this uh, semantic rule which we have uh, is uh, semantic rule which we have is say print digit dot lex file. Okay, now here f f is nothing but f is giving me uh, directly digit. So f is giving me. digit dot lex well and this is also giving me a semantic rule called this is also giving me a semantic rule called print digit dot lex well okay so now we have a, a, added the semantic rule like this here this here this here this here this here this year and this year. So we have added all semantic rules here, right? And which is giving me uh, a certain idea like what is going to happen with these semantic rules. Okay, and how we are going to proceed? We are going to proceed for traversing from left to right. Okay, so we are traveling left to right in this particular way. Okay, so we are traveling this left to right in this particular way. So we have got this uh, uh, e to t, t to uh, e is implying e plus t, that is okay, but now e is t, t is f, f is digit value. So digit value for this, uh, this digit value, we are going to substitute uh, the uh, lex action and that lex action is print, dex, uh, print digit value, right? So we are going for in this way. So what if we have got this, print a digit value. So print digit value, lex value, we are going to print up here. So I'll choose some, okay, so print digit value. So digit value here is say, for example, lex value for here is five, lex value for here is three, lex value for here is four. Okay, so three, three, five, four, if this is the case, then here, what is going to happen? Print a lex value, the, so the print, I'm printing a lex value as five, then I'm going for it's uh, this, so print nothing, print nothing, so print nothing, then going with the plus, then order here we are going with the T. Okay, but now how T is being substituted? T is being substituted as T star F, right? F is T is F and F is Lex value. So here Lex value is going to be three. Okay, so this is going to be three. Then in this case, what is going to happen? What is going to happen? Next is print is null. We are reaching to T, right? We are going to re uh, we are going to reach uh, T here, right? So this is how it is. Now next is we are going to F. F is giving me this lex value. So what is the semantic action that we are going to perform? We are going to put a four. Okay. So then, then the time we are returning back here, returning back here, you'll find that. So this is uh, this is a t. t t action is t star f. So when it is t star f, we uh, like uh, when it is t star f, we missed one semantic rule here. When it is t star f, the semantic rule that we haven't written, but that is there with respect to to this particular production when you substitute t with f. The semantic rule here is print, print what? S star. Okay, so semantic rule by this semantic rule, when we reach to this, we almost have T star F. We already explored T, we already explored star, we already explored F. F is being substituted with lex value. So by this semantic rule, we have printed a Three, we have printed a digit lex value for f, f is three, uh, f is four, and we reach up to this particular node where, 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 what we are going to print is, we are going to print is star. Okay, so this is three, four star. Okay, then we, uh, then what we have, we have already explored e, we have already explored plus, we have already explored 
t so e plus t is nothing but what e e plus t is nothing but e when you have gone for this the production number one going to come into picture and what is the semantic action that is going to take place is plus so this is plus so so this expression like uh, 5 plus 3 plus 4 which is infix in representation so 5 plus 3 star 4 which is infix expression infix expression so this infix expression is being converted into postfix expression uh, postfix expression so that is called 5 3 4 star and plus so this is going to be this so if you if you look at this kind of representation you you what what you have done is you followed a top down approach top down approach and the spanning of the tree is left to right to right now the time you're spanning this uh, tree from the left to to the right you have used these semantic rules to come into this action so what you're going to call this as this as an annotated parse tree annotated parse tree so this is annotated parse tree so annotated parse tree is with variable please try to understand this this is annotated parse tree is always with the variable and this variable this is called as decorated parse tree decorated parse tree okay this is annotated parse tree which is a decorated decorated parse tree and this is decorated because of the attributes that you have using and attributes are associated with all terminals as well as as non terminals right this is annotated parse tree uh, attributes are with the terminals and uh, non terminals so this is how it is going to work so this annotated parse tree is being furtherly converted into a syntax tree and you know the syntax tree is very simple the syntax tree for this uh, representation is say 5 this is going to be star and this is uh, this is uh, say uh, 3 and 4 so this is going to be uh, this is going to be a syntax tree okay so I hope you got a difference between the syntax tree. This is a syntax tree and this is an annotated thread, annotated parse tree. So uh, this is an abstract representation. Now, now when we when we go for when we understood this abstract representation, we can further uh, we can further un understand like uh, how this annotated parse tree can furtherly be converted into. Uh, further being converted into an abstract parse tree, like or it is an abstraction test tree. Means converting, uh, converting an, uh, uh, converting an uh, a grammar, uh, grammar annotated parse tree into an abstract syntax tree. How it, this can be done, right? Uh, have you got this particular concept? You can unmute and let me know. Huh? What is the steps? So step is this: you have a grammar. You have a semantic uh, rules. The time you are going for substitution, the time you are going to uh, going for substitution, you are using the semantic action to play with, right? Say for example, e is being uh, e is being uh, e is being substituted as e plus t. That's right. Okay, so like the way it is, if we started with e, e is being substituted as e plus t. Right? You can understand it here. Okay, so so when when this is going to re going this this statement is going to come what syntax action that you are going to perform i'll just let you know uh, okay so uh, this is this is say statement number 1 this is say production number 2 this is production number 3 production number 4 production number 5 so whenever the, whenever you are going to have this kind of representation e plus t representation you are going with the production number 1 Okay, so e, e is e is now see this action e is t, right? When e is uh, implying t, do nothing. T is f, do nothing. E is t, t is f, do nothing, do nothing. See, so look at here, do nothing, do nothing. So here, here, what is going to happen on 
only this is going to happen when you are going to substitute you are going to reach to e plus t only now but we are just at this particular stage so we are going to have this so if we started with the, doing this so it will say uh, uh, you have got plus right it started printing plus then e plus t e is do nothing 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 so this is digit value right so let's value so this is going to print afterwards right okay so when this is going to come right so digit dot next lex value that we are going to form so lex value it is what uh, if you start representing it it the first which is being printed is 5 okay so you have got 5 here right so this is going to have do nothing do nothing print this value then then once you printed this value where you come you come with a plus so you come with the plus so with the plus we are not doing anything with the t what you are going to do with the t you are going to substitute t with a t star f so this is t star f right so when it is a t star f so when you are going with the t star f say when you are going with t star f you are going with the semantic action number three so here you are going with semantic action number three and which is nothing but printing star when you reach to that particular level okay now now when you have t star f you are going with the semantic action number three t t is being substituted as f t to f do nothing f is print lex value so this is digit dot lex value that is going to be three now once you have got to five and three here then what you are going for uh, f which is t star f f is what f is digit dot lex value it is being printing as four so what where you are we you are into this particular segment left uh, right subtree so you reach up to once you have printed this you reach up to this star level right you reach up to this t this particular expression t expression this is going to be my t expression right so this is my t so what semantic action that you are going to have with the t the semantic action that you are going to have with the t is print star okay so by that the star gets printed now you are going to up so what is going to be there so it is e plus t now so you printed star for this particular t now e plus t expression is there so you can go with e plus t is nothing but print plus so you printed a plus here so here you will find that here you will find that entire post uh, entire infix representation is being converted into post fix 